educate children about the act of sex earlier than we might think. This is protective because it gives children a healthy understanding of what sex is. It also lets them know that you can talk about it. Parents need to tell their kids about um, the act of sex by the age of eight. I say eight is great. I told both my girls, you're going to learn the greatest secret to life on your eighth birthday. And they both got very excited. And I tell you, my second, I was really nervous. And my oldest came to me and said, all right, mom, you got to do this. She's turning eight. And my eight-year-old's like, yeah, mom, we got we to gotta have this conversation. And then, of course, my oldest looked at me and said, uh, but you can just skip the penis and vagina part. That is really weird. But that's the part that needs to be taught. The way I start is that I talk about um, the egg and the sperm and how the egg and the sperm get together. And in nine months, it forms this incredible human being. And it's just a miracle that happens. The last thing I talk about is how the egg and the sperm actually get together, because that's the part that's very freaky for most people. So it's part of our body parts. You say the egg and the sperm meet when the penis goes inside the vagina. The first question was, how does it become stiff? So that took me a while to figure out how to answer that one. But the other question that she had that I thought was so important is she said that, so both people have to want to do that. So I had the opportunity at the age of eight to discuss consent in a way for her to understand, yes, when it comes to any sexual behaviors, both people have got to want to do it. And the average age of reported sexual abuse is nine. And if kids know what sex involves, they'll know the rules around sex. You have to include the other parent or the other spouse or partner in the household because they need to be a go-to person also. So when I said to my oldest and my youngest, okay, let's go da tell dad we know about this, he was white as a ghost outside and he was like, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. But everybody in the house needs to have these open conversations.